In this video we are going to be looking over this Pentax P3N 35mm film SLR camera equipped with the Pentax A 50mm f2 prime lens. And I thought what we would do is go through enough testing on video here so you could see it almost as if you had it in your hands. So the things that we're going to look at are uh, first let's turn it on and just see that the uh, shutter works. We hear that. Okay, and now what we're going to do is open up the back. I have a scrap roll of film that we're going to run through and just uh, see that everything works smoothly that way. As we look in the back, uh, everything looks really nice. Uh, the, uh, the door over here I was noticing as I feel along these edges I feel no light seal material so that's really good. And the foam that I can see up in, the, in this corner here uh, looks pretty good to me. So I would think it would take good pictures just as it sits. I have this short roll of film and I'm just going to pull up on the rewind crank and put that in. Pull this across into this region here and close it up and now if we just advance a few things we can see this is turning here so we know it's engaged and one more to where now we're on picture number zero on the film counter. So uh, what I thought I'd do is step down through the shutter speeds here we've got to set it on one one thousandth and I'm going to set this on a smaller aperture so we can see the blades working inside the lens. So here's one one thousandth and one five hundredth one two fiftieth one one twenty fifth one sixtieth one thirtieth one fifteenth one eighth one fourth, one half, one full second, and well, I can't do the bulb setting because the uh, film has reached the end. So we're going to rewind that by pushing in this button to disengage the sprocket uh, wheel there, and then we're going to wind the film back into the housing. Whoop. The crank let go there, flipped out of my fingers. Okay, there, I feel it's it's all back in. We open this up and take this out, and we can see that the film has wound itself back in. So, uh, let's continue on with our testing. The door closes properly. It's a nice rewind crank. So now on the bulb setting, the shutter stays open and the lens stays stopped down as long as I hold the button down. There is one more here, it's a 1 100th of a second with a flash lightning bolt next to it. I'm guessing that's for flash sync. So that works. If we go up to this A setting, I think for that now we want to set the aperture ring to the locking A. And I thought a good way to test this would be to get some bright light right into the front of the camera and try it. Let's do that one more time. Okay, so we saw the lens stop down about halfway and it was pretty quick shutter speed. Now I'm going to intentionally move this light up so there's not much going into the camera. A, sh a longer shutter speed and the lens did not stop down. And if we get just a little more down there, a little bit faster shutter, and if I point this in here where we can't even see it really on video, stop down more and a quicker shutter speed. So it's responsive to light. I don't know exactly how accurate it is, but it seems to be working the way it should be. Now we've got to test out the self timer here. So we're going to push down here and push the on switch forward a little bit more. And now if I press the shutter button, we can see the little red light blinking right here and it will complete the cycle shortly. Okay, so we saw that. 
So everything that I've tested on the camera seems functional. Well, here's the uh, stop down preview button. That's working properly. Let's take the lens off and look at that a little bit. Um, focus feels pretty nice and smooth. The, the aperture ring is locked on the A, but I can press this little button and turn it. Now there's nice clicks. If we set that at f22 and look in the back here, it looks pretty quick as I flip, flip that. So the lens looks pretty good. I did uh, open it wide up and I pointed an LED flashlight through there and I saw what looked like some dust, but I didn't see uh, fungus and that type of thing. I see quite a bit of internal dust. So be aware of that. That usually doesn't uh, affect picture quality much, if at all. Well, we have this off. Let's look in the mirror box of the camera. Foam that the mirror flips up against is in pretty good shape. I'm going to take that timer off. Everything looks normal there. The aperture follower is uh, spring-loaded up like it should be. So that all looks pretty good. The camera does not have a front lens cap, but it will be protected for shipment. And it does have this Pentax branded strap that's attached. The uh, battery compartment is on the bottom here. There's some little button batteries in there. Um, I don't know how much life they have left, but they seem to be operating it now, so I'll just leave those in for you. And uh, I can't guarantee how long they'll last, but at least they should start out working for a little while.